Hello penny pickers, my name is Dayhan and welcome back to your number one place for all your investing needs. So in today's video, we're going to be going over four hot penny stocks right now. They're going to be in some hot, hot, hot sectors that are currently exploding and have some high potential going through the rest of January 2021. So let's dive on in and check them all out. So these are going to be four different types of penny stocks, four different sectors, I guess you could say of the market. So this first one is going to be a mushroom penny stock to watch, and it's going to be having life sciences. So one of the niches of the stock market experiencing a surge of interest this year has been the psychedelics. It's part of biotech, part vice and part, part nutraceutical, but somewhere in the middle lies the new opportunity. Magic mushroom stocks or psychedelic stocks have been compared to things like the Mary Jane stock during their early foray into the market. Now, there's plenty of speculation to go around, but a lot is coming down to executive and leadership. What are the companies doing to move the needle on revenue, and is there a track record of success in the leadership? So, for Haven, it could be a bit of both. Uh, while its C level is made up of some of the top brass and early movers in the uh, Mary Jane sector, its board, especially the executive chairman, has been a big focus for the market. Uh, Vic Newfield is the former CEO of Afria, uh, ticker symbol APHA. If you guys follow that sector, you guys would know that stock, which was one of the front runners of the early Mary Jane boom sits in this position. His track record speaks for itself. Now, Newfield is getting into the psychedelics and grabbed his seat at the table of Haven. So this is going to be ticker symbol H-A-V-L-F. A lot of you guys have been asking for that recently. So guys, right here, we're going to take a look at this chart actually for it. Um, on the Yahoo Finance chart, they have a very horrible chart, but we're going to take a look right here. About a month ago, it was trading at around 60 cents, went to highs of about $1.20, $1.25. Then we had a little bit of a pullback. And now we're trading here around the 66, 69 cents area. And the stock, you know, is kind of consolidating around that area. Uh, hopefully it does not break through because if it breaks through that 60 cents area and goes lower, it could continue to go down. But we're going to be hoping for it to pick up and continue to run up and break through that $1 resistance going into, you know, the rest of January and potentially the rest of 2021. Hopefully more people are going to be, you know, coming towards the psychedelic areas of this mushroom sector. And hopefully the stock is going to be doing some major things, especially with the CEO that they have now aside from this the early part of the new year could be important for the company in particular Haven is planning the official launch of its first line of nutraceutical mushroom products in Canada last month the company announced a product uh, listing agreement for product sales in select nester markets in British Columbia this is a major milestone for Haven retail enabling us to reach our goal of uh, launching our initial product line in the market of early 2021 said Tim Moore CEO of Haven Life Furthermore, the company has also begun investigating standardizing methods for, for extracting uh, psychoactive compounds. The company partnered with uh, Complex Biotech Discovery Ventures to begin Health Canada approved analysis of, of psilocybin under Haven Life's Section 56 exemption. Haven Life will work towards the development of the very first library of, of psychocybin uh, compounds and lay the foundation for the future development of. Uh, proprietary extraction methods with these developments and commercial retail launch it could be a company to watch this month so like we said guys there's some potential with this one you know running into the future with this one uh, we're going to be keeping a very close eye out on this one for the rest of 2021 just to see what happens especially with all this news coming out with it and obviously just the potential that we see as always guys i appreciate each and every one of you checking out my channel so go ahead and smash that like button for me let's aim for 250 likes plus in the first 24 hours of the video being uploaded so go ahead and smash that like button click that subscribe button turn on that bell notification so you get notified every time i make a new video we just had 13,000 subscribers let's see how far we can go in in january right now also so if you guys want to join our you know channel join the membership there's the button right there if you guys want to sign up for webull robin hood m1 finance links in the description get your four free stocks when you sign up with webull right now the second penny stock on our list is going to be a biotech company so, so it's going to be a biotech penny stock and it's going to be avenger inc so avenger isn't a mushroom stock but it does fall under the category of biotechnology in particular the company focuses on medical devices namely its tiger eye catheter platform um, it's an image guided total occlusion crossing system. Now this week comes with the key update from the company. The news set a new milestone and one that could be of interest to traders. Avenger announced that it's a commercially launched Tiger Eye. This now allows the company to offer its platform in the US and Germany as well. 
that has been a long road coming for the company and an event that has been at the center of the speculation uh, for weeks. This has translated favorably for AVGR stock. I believe full commercial availability of the Tiger Eye device will be an important contributor uh, to expanding our revenue growth opportunities in 2021, both in terms of attraction new Avengers user sites and supporting higher utilization per site. This is what the CEO said. With three new product families launched in less than three years, Avenger offers physicians a comprehensive suit of the most advanced PAD therapeutic device available today to provide effective, measurable treatment options with superior patient outcome. So once again, ticker symbol AVGR. As you can see on that news, the stock jumped 32.43% at the close, currently trading at $1.47. As you can see right here, the stock just boomed on that day from about a dollar all the way actually to highs here, about $1.86. But if we take a look at here at the one-year chart, this stock was trading here around its 30 cents, 25 cents area for a very, very long time, pretty much the whole year. It had a little bit of a spike, then a pullback. But you can see right here, volume picked up, you know, towards the end of December, over 200 million shares traded. Then we had here 100 million shares, 137 million shares, and the stock just continued to go from about 65 cents all the way to highs of about $1.85, like we said. So it made over a 200% gain very, very quickly and it continued to run up now made a little bit of a pullback but we can see that that's happened in the past where it does a pullback a little bit then we continue our run up especially on major news like this it could be a runner or it could be a sell the news type of situation as you guys know penny stocks are very very volatile and they can be dangerous in these situations you never know what's going to happen but what we're going to be hoping for is volume to continue to run up 100 million shares 200 million shares daily and for this to continue to pop hopefully break through a two dollar resistance that we see and continue our run up to make new highs highs for the rest of January going into the rest of 2021. Hopefully we get to see even some more, uh, you know, juicier gains. Now, if you guys follow my channel, you definitely know the number three penny stock because we've discussed this one many, many times on the channel. It's going to be Acosti Pharma Inc. So similar to Avenger, Acosti Pharma is a popular penny stock to watch recently. This company has experienced a bump in interest since the start of November. While there was a speculative trading in Avenger in anticipation of its commercial launch, Acosti Pharma could be benefiting from a different point of focus from the market. So this one is going to be a little bit different than that one, but it's still a great one. So the company is currently exploring and evaluating a range of strategic alternatives and engaging uh, Oppenheimer and Co. to lend a hand. The main reason was to undertake a strategic review of the company with the purpose of exploring strategic alternatives to drive shareholder value. This includes potential mergers, acquisitions, or other initiatives that involve Acosti and or its product. In its current pipeline are products including the Capri and the company's treatment of the hypertriglycordemia. Uh, Casti has reported phase three data of its Capra treatment last year. Following the results, the company decided not to push forward with the filing a new drug application with the FDA, but, but it still looks like the company is open to some sort of advancement of treatments and in light of its goal outlined in this strategic alternative initiative. While the market awaits for more details, ACST stock remains in focus as shares have jumped significantly over the last few weeks. So this is going to be a ticker symbol, ACST, right there, Acosti Pharma. The stock was down about 5.5% at the close on the previous day, but obviously after a huge run-up like that, we need a little bit of a pullback. So this stock right here was trading at around $0.20 cents per share for the past three or four months. Finally, we got to see some volume pop right here, about 54 million shares traded. Stock went from about $0.19 cents all the way to a high of about $0.42 cents right there. So we made over 100% gain. Then we made a pullback down here to about $0.25, cents. then another huge volume, 563 million shares traded on December 23rd. Shares went from $0.26 cents all the way to highs of about $0.57, cents. so another 100% opportunity on gains. Then we made a, obviously another pullback. So it seems to be making pullbacks and then higher highs. So the lows are lower and the highs are higher. So lower lows and higher highs. The stock is continuing its run up. And now we're trading, you know, up here, it was trading at around 86 cents, hitting its previous uh, resistance area right here. Actually, as you can see, it was around the 90 cents area. So we couldn't break through that resistance area. So we're going to be hoping for some consolidation, volume to pick up and continue to trend on up break through that 70 cents area once again, break through that 80 cents area, then break through that 90 cents resistance, and then continue to fly on up past the $1 range, and we'll see where we go on after that. Last but not least on our list, the number four penny stock is gonna be another Mary Jane penny stock to watch, and it's gonna be Sundial Growers. So a lot of people actually have been following this stock for a while now. It's had some crazy pops in the recent weeks. Um, you know, so right here, it's going to be Sundial Growers. So this has been one of the more heavily scrutinized uh, Mary Jane stocks for the month. 
yet it continues trading hundreds of millions of shares per day. In light of this, it has become one of the top Mary Jane stocks to watch. It has also mounted a slow and steady climb since the beginning of November with a lot of volatility along the way, like I said. So regardless of the fact that Sundial continues raising money that could present potential delusion, the company has also announced milestones. The most recent came this week when the company launched its premium concentrates products under its top leaf brand sundial said it plans to uh provide additional offerings this quarter including top leafs oregon golden goat bubble hash and grassland sativa and indica hash and uh, now in light of the new state initiatives from likes of new york for example the mary jane industry itself has seen a jump in light of everything going on with the SNDL, it is really one that commands a presence on your watch list or has it you know, benefited from just uh, sympathy momentum than anything else following all the other trends as you know, Biden is the president now. So a lot of the people are thinking that he's going to legalize it all over you know, the United States. So a lot of these uh, Mary Jane stocks are popping right now. Um, so this one, ticker symbol SNDL, Sundial Growers, the stock was up about 3.39% at the close. Uh, you know, analysts are, you know, very, very bullish on this one on short term, mid term and long term. Currently trading at 71 cents per share. As you can see here, it was trading at around 19 cents per share. And then here, as the election got closer and closer, the stock started to pop, made about 100 percent gain right here with volume picking up, you know, over 756 million shares traded, almost 1 billion shares traded right there. Then we made a little bit of a pullback and then boom, another jump. 1.26 billion shares traded. Stock went from 37 cents to highs of about 95 cents. So close to 200% gains right there once again. Then we made another pullback and then volume is starting to pick up right now. And the stock is continuing this trend up as the volume is picking up. We made about a 50% gain right there just in the past few weeks as volume is picking up, trading around 600, 700, even 800 million shares every single day right now. So what we're going to be looking forward to right now is for it to break through this resistance that we see at around 90 cents per share one dollar per share right there let's just say after it breaks that resistance the next one is going to be around this one dollar and fifty cents one dollar and forty cents area so what we're going to be looking forward to is obviously just in january but you know 2021 and further on especially with biden being the president so we're going to have to watch what he's going to be doing if he's going to make uh, the mary jane you know legal in the u.s united states if he does do that, a lot of these stocks are going to be running and we could definitely see a potential right now, especially if we get in early on one of these stocks, because we could see uh, very, very massive gains in the near future. So as always, guys, before investing into any type of penny stocks, you know, speak to your financial advisor. I am not a financial advisor. These are just for educational purposes. We're just going over a list of penny stocks that we see potential in and we're going over their you know, data and information to see if they have potential. What do we think about it? And also to see what you guys think about these penny stocks. So what do you guys think? Leave a comment below. What do you think about this list? Let me know if you own any of these penny stocks or if you plan on owning any of these penny stocks. Um, you know, if you guys want to sign up for Webull or anything, like we said earlier, there's going to be links in the description. Get your four free stocks when you sign up with Webull right now. And as always, guys, smash that like button for me. Let's get 250 likes on this video in the first 24 hours of it being up. Also, go ahead and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. I upload penny stock video content every single day for you guys to keep you guys up to date on the top news that comes out every single day. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.